Hey everyone, this is Alex from Engvid, and today I want to share with you three common idioms that you can use to talk about appearance. Now, these idioms can all be found in my book, this book right here. Uh, it's called 200 Practical English Idioms. And what I did with this book was try to think of 200 of the most common idioms that English speakers use to help you give you language you will actually use. So uh, what's great about this book is I give you a lot of examples and I only include high frequency idioms. So you won't hear idioms that are no longer in use in this book. Um, if you want to check it out, check out the link attached to this video. And while you're on my website on EnglishAlex.com, uh, make sure to subscribe to my newsletter. So on the home page, go all the way down, just put your email in and I will send you an email at least once a week to let you know the latest things that I'm doing on Ingvid, on my own website, and you won't miss any details. Now, let's talk about the idioms that I wanna talk about from this book today. So, appearance. You look like a million bucks. So if someone looks like a million bucks, this means they look great, as well as they can look. So if someone got a new haircut, for example, you can say, wow, you look like a million bucks. And remember, bucks is slang for dollars. So if someone looks like a million bucks, they look fantastic, they look great. So a new haircut, or maybe they're wearing really nice clothes, and they just look fantastic. This idiom can also be used to talk about the performance of someone uh, in a sport, for example. So you can say, oh man, did you watch the game last night? Ronaldo looked like a million bucks, or Messi looked like a million bucks. LeBron James looked like a million bucks. So if someone plays really well to a high standard, you can say they look like a million bucks as well. Uh, another idiom that I want to share with you guys today is to catch someone's eye. So if you catch someone's eye, it means that you attract their attention because of a particular characteristic about yourself. Now, I know this idiom exists in many languages, like in Polish, for example, you can say, uh, ona złapała moje oko, like she caught my eye. So if someone catches your eye, they attract your attention. So to give you some examples, his smile really caught my eye. I was looking at new cars and the price of this one really caught my eye. So a price can catch your eye if it's a good price for something, for example. So whether it's a particular feature of a person, a particular feature of a thing, Anything that attracts your attention, you can say, wow, that really caught my eye. So caught is the past of catch, right? And also important to remember, you can use idioms in the past, the present, or the future. Just make sure that you are using the correct word order, okay? So caught my eye. Okay? Not caught I, my, or something like this. Make sure you try to use the correct word order. And the third idiom I want to share with you today is to cry your eyes out. <laughs> so if you cry your eyes out, this means that you cry strongly, forcefully, with a lot of power, like you weep, basically. So for example, if you watch a movie that is incredibly sad, and if you are someone who cries during movies that are emotional, you can say, oh, I cried my eyes out. So it's like, imagine that your eyes are just full of tears and everything is coming out of your eyes. So I cried my eyes out. Uh, this is another way to talk about how someone looks when they're crying, for example. So once again, you can look like a million bucks which means you look great or you performed really well. Uh, what was the second one? To catch your eye, right? So I hope this book is catching your eye in this video. It looks pretty good, right? I'm very proud of this. My sister designed this actually. So uh, I love her today. 
because she did a great job with this today, you know. And um, to cry your eyes out, right? This means to cry forcefully, to cry strongly. So I will cry my eyes out if you don't buy this book, guys. Um, I'm very hungry. Alex needs food. Alex needs, needs you to buy this book. Is it, am I coming across too desperate? I hope not. Uh, but no, seriously. Um, I really strongly recommend this book to you guys. If you enjoyed the idioms that you heard in this video and you want more example sentences, more language you will actually use, uh, check out 200 Practical English Idioms in the link that is attached to this video. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, turn on notifications, and leave me a comment down below. Uh, try to use the idioms that you heard in this video in your comments. What is a movie that made you cry your eyes out? Do you look like a million bucks today? Or do you know someone who looks like a million bucks, for example? And what is something that caught your eye about this video or another video or something in your life? So until next time, I hope you found this useful. Thank you very much for clicking and I wish you success in your studies. You look like a million bucks.